Let's talk success. Given that the winning candidate will have to run again in 2025, what does a successful term look like for you? Um, I, I forget who goes first. <laughs> I believe, Tanya, you go first. Yeah, so I'm doing the exact same thing right now. I, um, I'm eight months in, um, having to run a campaign, and it is quite a learning curve. Like, learning the different processes of city government and building and collaborating with all the council members. I'm proudly t endorsed by all council members except for one, um, and we are all in person chatting about different p ideas and legislation that we want to work on. And so based on my experience with building housing, my experience in a small business, uh, running a community public safety group, these are all things that I'm working on. I'm looking at legislation that will allow us to be able to build more housing based on my experiences. I'm looking at initiatives that will empower communities into helping their public safety. Also looking at initiatives where, you know, we're helping our small businesses and we're saving okay. trees. That's time. Thank you. Alexis. Yeah, when I think about a successful term, I think about getting things done. And that is something that unfortunately this council has struggled to do in its eight months while, while in office. Um, this, this is a council that has voted down affordable housing legislation, that has approved a SPOG contract without increased accountability measures, that just voted to re-implement banishment policy that historically has not worked, um, has also voted to, has also added funding, added to the budget deficit. And what I'm able to offer in this moment is my experience having brought people together across the ideological spectrum to solve problems. I'm interested in making sure that we address and put forward common sense legislation legislation that addresses the core issues of affordability and safety in our communities. That is what Seattleites want. Okay, let's talk sports. Oh, you want to add a rebuttal? Yes. Tanya's 20 seconds. So I think this is the biggest difference is that my opponent advocates for all the policies in the last four years that have brought us to where we are today. And so we have to move forward. We have to look at how we could public safety and do that differently from what we've done in the past. I always talk about Little Saigon and how it looked four years ago and how it looked today. And those are all the years of failed policy that has affected our marginalized and most vulnerable communities the most. And that's my goal in this council is to help bring okay. that community back. Thank you. That's good. Uh, Alexis, 20 seconds rebuttal. Absolutely. I think what's important to note is, you know, I'm... <laughs> I would say that I'm interested in, in solving problems. Um, I have a track record of being able to address and bring people together around a table while my opponent is characterizing me in a way that I, I have definitely not brought forward on the campaign. Our campaign has been the one uniting our communities, not bringing angry people to City Hall to give public comment for hours and hours at a time just to be unheard. Okay, thank you very much. 